Hello and welcome to One Point Partitions install video for stainless steel partitions with an alcove layout. These install videos are to be used in conjunction with our printed install guide that can be found in your order. Also, a downloadable copy is available on our website. The most important step of the installation is the most critical step, and that is to lay out exactly where all the parts and pieces are to be placed in the room according to the approved design drawings. Okay, we'll start installation by installing the Alcove hardware kit. And here we're installing the pilaster bracket. Uh, and uh, pilasters are one and a quarter inch thick while the panels and doors are one inch thick. Next, we'll install the mid panel bracket. This is for uh, one inch thick panels. These brackets are also known as two eared or T brackets. All right, next we'll install our easy mount shoes. And these are stainless steel shoes that the pilasters will slip into. And we'll just screw these to the floor. Next, we'll need a 12 inch block to support the panel during installation. 12 inches is the standard height from the floor to the bottom of the panels and doors for the style. Next, we'll prep the pilaster. We'll place leveling bolts on the underside of the uh, pilaster. Those leveling bolts are to be used to make sure all the pilasters are level. Next, we'll install the alcove step down clips. This is to be a tight connection between the pilaster and the panel, and these clips will help secure that connection. Standard sheet metal screws are to be used to attach these clips to the panel and the pilaster. And at this time, the uh, panel can be connected to the wall brackets. And these again are the uh, mid panel brackets. Next, we'll work on the uh, other pilaster in this alcove stall. And same thing, we'll insert a leveling bolt and use that leveling bolt to make sure the uh, pilaster is plumb and level. Next, we'll work on the large door, in this case, an ADA door, and here's the kit. All right, we'll start by installing the lower portion of the hinge. We're using step bolts or otherwise known as through bolts to make the connection. Here comes our cam along with the hardware to connect the uh, cam to the lower portion of the hinge. And then we're placing another opposing cam into the bottom of the door. Here comes our upper portion of the hinge. We want to attach this to the door and then we can place the door onto the bottom portion of the hinge. At this point, you need to uh, do a test a swing and a test fit, and then secure the door to the pilaster. Right now we'll install the concealed knob set, which is an ADA compliant knob set. And next the door pulls on each side of the door along with the strike. On the back side of the door, we'll install the coat hook and bumper, which needs to be placed no more than 48 inches above the uh, finished floor, along with a standard door bumper. Okay, we want to make sure that the door swings without any issue and the gap on the uh, latch side is a, a decent gap. And now we can secure the pilaster to the pilaster brackets. Okay, now we will work on the head roll bracing and the head roll bracing fits on top of the pilasters and provides a lot of support for the stalls. We'll start by installing the head rail brackets. And it's best to dry fit the head rail and that will help you know exactly where those brackets are to be installed on the wall. Okay, for this uh, alcove, we needed to use two pieces. And what we'll do is cut those to where the, um, uh, the meeting point of the two pieces of head rail will be right above the middle pilaster. All right, now it's time to work on the standard stall. We'll be using an in-panel, otherwise known as a one-eared or F-bracket. And these F-brackets are for panels, which means they're an inch thick. Now we'll install the pilaster brackets onto the alcove stall. And these brackets again are an inch and a quarter. OK, 
Okay, next we'll be installing the easy mount shoes with uh, screws, and those screws will just uh, anchor those stainless steel easy mount shoes directly to the floor. All right, we'll need that 12 inch block once again to support the panel. We'll just slip the panel into those uh, in panel brackets. Next, we'll prep the pilasters with the leveling bolts and then use those leveling bolts to make sure that they're level with the other pilasters. Okay, now we'll bring in the last pilaster and we'll need to attach U-brackets on the backside of that pilaster. And those U-brackets will help connect the panel to the backside of the pilaster. Of course, we'll need our leveling bolt. And there we're attaching the U-brackets. Now we can set that pilaster into the easy mount shoe and uh, slip the panel into those U-brackets. If everything's plumb and level, then we can attach using our sheet metal screws. We can now remove our 12 inch block and start work on the door kit. This is a standard in-swing door. We'll start with the bottom portion of the hinge, secure that using the step bolts or through bolts. And we'll insert our cam into that bottom portion of the hinge, secure it with the hardware. And we'll place the opposing cam into the bottom of the door. And now we'll secure the upper portion of the hinge onto the door. And then place the door on the bottom portion of the hinge, do a dry swing, make sure everything fits and works correctly, and then secure the upper portion of the hinge to the pilaster. Here comes our concealed knob set, and this is a standard knob set, along with the striking keeper. And we're placing the coat hook and bumper on the back side of the door. Now we'll make sure that the door is plumb and level and the gap on the strike side looks good. And once that's finished, we can secure the pilaster to those pilaster brackets. Okay, we'll attach the head rail brackets to the wall. And we will also attach a head rail bracket to the alcove stall into the uh, head rail. And we can slip our cut piece onto the top of the pilasters and then uh, finish out the outside of the um, stall with a finished piece of headrail. And we can place the cap at the end of the exposed headrail. And we are finished. Thanks for watching our installation video and feel free to contact us here at One Point Partitions by way of phone, email, or text anytime if you have any questions whatsoever regarding your installation of the bathroom stalls.